Six awesome tips to make your feet look fabulous. Our feet go through a tough time every day with all the rush of modern life, long lines, and uncomfortable footwear, which can lead to discomfort and affect our overall health. That's why you need to take extra care of your feet and toenails to keep them in tip-top condition. Here's the most useful foot care tips to make your feet and toenails look gorgeous. Number six, keep your feet dry. One of the basic principles of hygiene is to keep your feet dry since moist conditions create a favorable environment for fungus to grow. Do the following to keep your feet dry. Don't wear the same pair of shoes several days in a row. Wipe your feet thoroughly with a towel after taking a shower. Choose shoes made from natural materials that will let your skin breathe. By the way, we've also put together some proven ways to stop your favorite shoes from hurting your feet. Don't miss them out. Number five, trim your toenails properly. Improperly trimmed nails may result in ingrown toenails, which can be quite painful. Here are some useful tips to keep this away. Always trim your toenails straight across. Don't round the corners. Don't cut your toenails too short. It may result in ingrown toenails or an infection. Avoid cutting your cuticles. You can gently push them back towards the base of your nail with an orange wood stick. Number four, keep your toenails healthy. This procedure will help you relieve ingrown toenail pain. One, add one tablespoon of salt to four cups of water. Two, Soak your feet in warm water for 15 to 20 minutes. Three, place clean dental floss under the edge of your nail and lift it up gently. Four, treat the area with antiseptic. Five, bandage your toe to protect it from getting infected. Repeat this process daily until your toe is fully healed. If these procedures are not making your toenail any better and you see some signs of infection, you should see a doctor immediately. Number three, soak your feet in warm water. To make your feet look gorgeous and your heels feel baby soft, soak your feet in warm water for 15 to 20 minutes once a week. You can use different ingredients to re-energize your feet, such as salt, essential oils, or herbal infusions. Also, use a foot scrub or pumice stone to remove dry and dead skin from your feet afterward. Number two, moisturize your feet. It's best to use creams that contain emollients, such as dimethicone, lanolin, and Vaseline, as well as moisturizing ingredients, such as glycerin and lecithin and never moisturize the area between toes as it can cause fungus. Number one, massage your feet. Foot massage is the best remedy to get rid of fatigue, improve blood circulation, and keep your feet healthy. You can buy a special massager or place an ordinary tennis ball or any other round object under your foot and start rolling it back and forth from your toes to your heel. Now, here's the bonus. Wearing a new pair of shoes is almost always a painful experience, so we put together some soul-saving tips that will keep your feet healthy. One, sticking plasters. This is the most obvious solution to the problem, but it works perfectly. Apply sticking plasters to your hotspots before leaving the house to reduce friction and prevent blisters from forming on your feet. The surface area of the sticking plaster should be bigger than the affected area so that it stays in place. Two, baby powder. To reduce friction between your feet and shoes, use baby powder. Just sprinkle some baby powder into your pumps before putting them on. This also works if you're not wearing any socks with your shoes. However, in this case, your feet should be completely dry. Three, hair dryer and thick socks. Put on a pair of thick socks and shove your feet into your shoes. Take a hair dryer and run it over the tight parts of your shoes until they feel a little better. Next, walk around in the shoes until they're completely cool. 
Repeat the procedure if needed. The material will expand from the heat and become more flexible and soft. Keep in mind that the trick works only with natural materials such as leather. 4. Deodorant The lateral part of your foot, heel bone, and toes suffer the most when you put on your newly purchased heels or flats. To reduce friction between your feet and shoes, apply some roll-on or stick deodorant to the problem areas. 5. Silicone insoles You can buy silicone insoles in shoe shops, orthopedic stores, and even online. There are two types, full-length insoles to protect the whole sole, and half ones can be used only under your toes or heel. So you can choose the insoles that fit your needs. 6. Plastic bag with water. Fill two plastic bags with water. Put them in the toe of each shoe. Then place them in the freezer and leave overnight. As the water freezes, it will expand in the bag and stretch the shoe. When you take your pumps out the following day, you'll notice that they have become wider. 7. Silicone heel inserts. To avoid irritation and prevent blisters from forming on your heels, use special silicone pads. You can buy them in any shoe store or online. 8. Tape the third and fourth toes together. This may sound strange, but if you tape your third and fourth toes, counting from the big toe, together, you will feel more comfortable in your pumps. This trick works. We checked it. Number 9. Give your feet a little break. Do you have to wear stilettos to work every day? Then keep a pair of comfortable flats and slippers at your desk. Let your legs relax. Take off your heels and put on slippers when you are sitting at your desk. 10. A wedge is an alternative to a high heel. If wearing high heels every day feels like torture for you, or if your new pumps keep causing you a lot of pain, then you need to pay attention to wedges. They're easy to walk in and more stable.